Jesus used comedy a lot. Jewish comedy, naturally. Uh, one kind of humour he employed was to juxtapose two contrasting images. He'd often show up the, the absurdity of our lives by placing two incongruous states side by side. The resulting shock is the stuff of comedy and of good preaching. Now, here's today's comic image from Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. You are the light of the world, says Jesus. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl under a bushel in the old translations. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people that they may see your good, see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. So imagine the scene. You pick up the phone and you say, uh, hello, Lantern Magic. Yes, I'd like to register a complaint. I've just bought your Lamplight 3000 with high hopes. I mean, it says on the box, it gives light to everyone in the house. But I have to say, it's as gloomy as ever here. What's that? Yes, no, I filled it with oil. Yes, and I trimmed the wick. And, and I lit it just like the instruction said. Yeah, well, I mean, truth be told, it started out brilliantly. It was, it was everything that I'd hoped for. Uh, until I put it under the bowl, that is. Uh, the bowl. No, no, the bowl. Yes, well, well I couldn't find a lampstand, so I, I just thought I'd improvise. What's that? On top of the bowl? No, 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 I'd, I'd never place things so precariously, dear me, no. No, I'm keeping it safely underneath the bowl. Yes, underneath the bowl. What do you mean it's not the lamp that's dim? Uh, however ridiculous we find this situation, Jesus says this is the problem with Christians. Uh, which means if you follow Jesus, it is your problem and it is my problem. We are made to shine. We are the light of the world, as we thought of yesterday. We ought to be luminous, our very lives driving out darkness and drawing people to the Father. 2,000 years before Take That sang Let It Shine, this was Jesus' advice. He says, don't stoke the fires, don't try and burn a bit brighter, don't lighten up, just let it shine. Let it shine. When we are released from the bowls under which we usually hide, the Christian has a radiant quality which will attract the world. It's not about getting on fire for Jesus. We are light in Jesus. Catelyn Moran, uh, the columnist for the Times, wrote a moving letter to her teenage daughter in which her main piece of advice was this. She told her daughter, what I want you to do is just shine. Resolve to shine constantly and steadily like a warm lamp in the corner and people will want to move towards you in order to feel happy and to, to read things more clearly. You will be bright and constant in a world of dark and flux. And, says Moran, this will save you the anxiety of other ultimately less satisfying things, like being cool, being more successful than everyone else, and being very thin. Uh, Moran puts her finger on some of the bowls that we hide our light under. Instead of being kind, instead of being loving, instead of being a blessing to others, so often we prefer being cool, being successful being thin. I wonder what other bowls we can think of. When you enter a room or enter a conversation, what are you trying to be? Are you trying to be funny, smart, aloof, pretty, knowledgeable? Those are bowls. They do not help you to radiate the love of Christ. They obscure the love of Christ. When we go into a relationship or a conversation trying to be any of those things, it's like lighting a lamp and putting it under a bowl. They do not help you to radiate the love of Christ. Our calling is to be who we are, the light of the world. And this means that the main issue we have in reaching out to the world is not, what must I do? Really, it's what must I repent of? What must I take away? It's not what do I need to add? It's what do I need to remove? So let's ask ourselves, what are our bushels? What are our bowls? What are our fears? What are these false identities that we prefer to communicate to the world rather than simply being Christians? What are the bowls in your life or mine? As the complaints department from Lantern Magic would have said, the problem is not with the light. The problem is where you're putting it.